Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to look at a few more examples on uh, permutations, combinations, and factorials. So the first one that we're looking at, how many ways can five cars be arranged on a carrier truck with room for five vehicles? So maybe you can draw the bins here to represent the spots on the truck. So this first one, we have five different cars. The second time around, because we have four cars left and three cars left, two and one. So multiplying this, this is five factorial, which gives us 120 ways. Okay. The next example, we have how many different social security numbers are possible? Each social security number is a sequence of nine digits. So it sort of looks like this. We have our three, we have our two, and then we have our four. In each of these, the sequence of nine digits, the nine digits are any one between zero and nine. So we have 10 possibilities in each one of these slots. So this gives us 10 to the 9 power, which when we multiply that out, we have 1 billion different numbers. Okay. The next one that we're looking at, a pollster must randomly select three of 12 available people. How many different groups of three are possible? Now in this case, order does not matter. Why is that? Well, we can maybe look at the following. This is the same as if I selected Phil, Sarah, and Eric, that's the exact same thing as if I selected Eric, Sarah, and Phil. There are no, order does not matter here. So this is going to be a combination where we're taking 12 choose three. So in the numerator I have 12 factorial, in the denominator I have three factorial and nine factorial. So as you enter that into your calculator you should get 220 possible ways for your answer.